Welcome back, my lovely, gorgeous people. This is part three of my Elephant Mosaic Backsplash project. And if you haven't watched the first two, please go back and watch the first two and then continue watching from here. If you're new to my channel, my name is Dion and I create predominantly African inspired mosaics. So let's get to it. Okay, so I've decided to go for the 113, which is like a grey. I think it has a grey that I had on there, I can't remember. Um, you should go for the Ultra Colour Plus, but for some reason I bought this one. I think I've made a mistake buying this one, but I don't think it makes a difference. So this is by Mackie. Um, it's got flexible, mould resistant, water repellent and everything else in there. So it should be okay. Um, I've mixed it up already. Um, just waiting for it to slake, which I think it's done now. And I'm gonna now apply it with using this rubber kidney. Let's go! quickly so I'm just tidying up and I'm cleaning off these um, strips these edging tiles um, quite nice actually when I wet them up I think I might see if I can put some kind of glaze on them so I see them to bring up that colour look at that you can see that um, <clears throat> yeah so I'm just cleaning up these side tiles with a cloth just take off any residue um, and then I'm just going to leave the rest of it to slope a little bit more so it looks like it's already it's almost ready for me to, to buff up with a, a clean cloth so we'll get rid of make sure that there's not any sort of embedded grout on these strips so I really want that the grain of the tile. I think this is travertine to come through. Look, look at that coming through already. Yes. I didn't even 
from that point. <laughs> what I was trying to show you is this pretty much of the actual which looks a little bit wet. And I'm also looking to see if there's any areas that I've missed, any holes, so I can get those filled straight away. Because once you've grouted, once you've mixed your grout, you can't mix the same colour twice. I've got some uh, ceramic tiles in here. I'm just going to try and see if I can get the cement out. So I don't want the cement to embed into the tiles too much. So here I'm using a grout and tile protector by LTP, brilliant project, I've used it before and it helps to protect your mosaic or your whatever project you're working on, your tiles etc from dirt, um, penetration of water, oil grease, that sort of thing. So here I'm just liberally spraying it over, it dries quite quickly and it's protected very quickly after it's um, been applied. These are tea nuts and I'm going to be putting them into the four corners of my mosaic. They're usually used to join two parts but I'm using these to prevent my screw from sliding through the cement board. So what I'm doing here is pushing the tea nut through the cement board. It's usually quite easy, but I had to give it a little tap with my hammer just to make sure it was nice and flat in the board. So I had to give it a little bit of help to do that. So I decided to invest in a drill. I have never owned a drill before. I usually get my dad to do all these kind of um, odd jobs and stuff around the house. But I thought to myself, do you know what Dion, you can do this. You've worked with a, um, a jigsaw before, so surely, surely you can use a drill. And so, yeah, I, I got myself a drill. I'm really proud of myself actually, that I actually purchased this. Let's see how I got on. <laughs> Guys, 
and girls. Anyone know how to open these? I have no idea how to open it. And I don't want to break my box. I can see there's like a little thing here. But I tried to press it. Can't do it. Trying to do it with one hand as well. Does this come back? Do I have to break it? It looks like it needs to be something here needs to happen. Anyone? Anybody? Is anyone out there? <laughs> so whilst I was waiting for someone to respond to me, I decided, right, let me just mark out where I'm actually going to drill and uh, put my screws. Um, so here you can see me just placing the mosaic back onto the wall. I've got my pencil in my hand and I am making what I think are marks going right through the holes into the wall. Well, okay, that's what I thought I was doing. Guess what? The pencil didn't go through the hole, did it? <laughs> I didn't make the hole big enough for the pencil to go through. So I've got no markings on my wall. God dear, what are you doing? Okay, so I thought I knew what I was doing. <laughs> when it comes to putting in this drill bit into, into this zone, um, whatever this is called. Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm going to have to go and Google. I'm not going to call my daddy. I'm going to Google this and uh, see if I can figure this out for myself. I better re read up on some instructions on how to use this drill um, because I've just noticed these, this gauge here that turns and some symbols up there, and this thing goes backwards and forwards. So I'll be back. <laughs> this is real fun. So ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you've enjoyed watching this episode and my fun and games I've had with my new power tool. So this is a little sneak preview of what's going to be taking place in the next episode and hopefully the final episode where everything is in place and the mosaic is looking absolutely beautiful. So please tune in and don't forget to leave a comment. I've been enjoying watching your comments and reading your comments so far, so please keep them coming and I'll see you in the next episode.